What's going on guys? Big Black Ghana Man here and today I'm going to give you a recap about the two pro shows I just had which was Romania Muscle Fest Pro and EVLS Prague Pro. Let's go guys! Okay guys, so as you may have seen, in Romania, I placed fifth, and that was quite a difficult show. I believe there was about 22, 24 of us on the stage. Romania was quite a difficult prep. I literally started prepping within the last 10 weeks. This is all because coming from December 2022, Olympia, I had heart failure, guys. But that's a whole nother video. We won't get into that too much, otherwise it'll just take too long. But I had heart failure coming from that couldn't train for the, um, the majority of the year. So we started training around um, August, September to be ready for Romania. As you may have seen, my name was down for quite a lot of the pro shows, but we didn't get to make those shows because, you know, every time moving forward with the prep, something would happen and then we would have to stop again. So shout out to my coach Cuts for, you know, bringing the best that he could out of me for these two shows. But let me just explain a little bit more about that. So Romania was good. I came fifth. Um, that was quite a difficult prep, but, you know, we've done what we needed to do. And my feedback from that show there, which was, um, who was the judge? It was Tarek, was the head judge. He said that I need to bring up my legs. Obviously, men's physique has changed now. So now they're judging legs, height and weight. So I was with, definitely within the weight cap. There's five, six kg more that, you know, I could put on, but it's unnecessary. Legs is something i got to bring up, especially the quads. And next was my back needs to be wider and thicker. And my posing, which we all know can do with a little bit of TLC. Moving on to the Prague Pro, which was a week later, literally last Saturday, just gone the 18th of November. That was also a difficult show because I had to come back, work even harder. And obviously when it comes in peak week, you're playing around with water, you're playing around with salt, and you know, you're playing around with carbs as well. So that kind of makes it difficult on my body. At the moment, I don't get to use the same amount of PEDs as I would have done in 2022. So we literally had to be very strict on diet, cardio, the training and everything else, as you should. That's got to be the number one thing. You can't, you shouldn't rely on the PEDs. So we did that. We came to Romania, sorry, Prague, which what I thought was a better physique or more of a conditioned physique but I placed eighth there so which shows you how good the guys on the stage was from one to seven they were brilliant even the guys that placed after me they they had done quite well but obviously a lot of these guys had been going the whole year you know doing shows after shows and stuff like that so they were already in the, they were already in condition and got better and better so you know I'm not going to knock anyone everyone done well well done to anyone, everyone that was on the stage with me. You know, they showed me something which I had to take away and I'm going to make myself better from it. But now there's a lot of work that I have to do myself in order to get better. So as I said, the judge's feedback was more of a wider back, more condition on the back, better V taper. Um, they want to see my legs come up and they would like to see better posing. So, you know, I've given that feedback to my coach. Now we know what to do. We've got 15 weeks until the Arnold Classics UK. Hopefully my name will be selected for that once we know anyways we're doing the training we already started the prep for it so if they select me then great we're already in prep if they don't then we'll move on to New York Pro and Pittsburgh Pro which is next year May that's what I'm going to be doing right now guys and um, as I said you know that's what that's the two pro shows that I've done brilliant shows it was a very difficult but short prep you know due to all the illnesses that I had at the start of the year I had to take a lot of time off and we have to be more sensible now. We can't just be pumping PEDs or training and lifting heavy weights and do you know what I mean? And just eating protein all day, you know, it packs a big punch on the kidneys as well. So we have to be sensible about it. But I feel great now, guys, you know, I'm working out, we're working hard. Today I'm with Chris again, you know, I fanned him again. So we're definitely gonna be bringing a lot more videos and we're gonna be getting it in early and we're gonna be more consistent moving forward from today. So yeah, guys, that's my recap of Prague and Romania. 
Omar, shout out to Omar. He was with me when I was in uh, Romania and Prague. Emil was always on the phone. Yemi, he was with me in Prague. Otherwise, he's always on the phone. So that's my little circle there. And, you know, we kind of motivate each other, push each other to do better. We're all competitors against each other, but when we need to push each other, we also push each other to get better. So, and that's what it's all about, teamwork, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Any more questions that you have, please message me. I've had a lot of DMs from people about where I've been, what's happening with me, what kind of shows I'm going to be doing moving forward, how do I feel about coming fifth and eighth. And all I can say, guys, actually, I feel really good because, as I said, the guys before me, they deserve their places. I didn't bring my best. I brought something, but it wasn't my best. It wasn't the big black Ghana man Cobra back. You know what I mean? This time round, people were scared, but they wasn't scared. And I need them to be scared. When Big Black Garden Man turns up, ah, we better go home, because he's going to shut it down. So we will be bringing that to the Arnolds. I'm going to be there. Ali Bilal's going to be there. A few other lot are going to be there, and it's going to be a battle again. And this time round, I ain't letting Ali Bilal take that back to his country. It's staying in the UK with us. Make sure you keep following the Instagram at Big Black Ghana Man. I don't even have any, I do have a TikTok. You know, we will put the links at the bottom of the, somewhere on the screen. You're going to see it. Give me your feedback, drop some likes and comments. Let me know what you think about everything that I've done and what you want to see more of. But we'll be bringing out more videos definitely from today. As I've said it, it will definitely be happening. We're going to be staying consistent now, guys. So guys, make sure you keep following my Instagram for more updates and uh, let me know what you think. Let's go.